violas. How are you? Let's play some El Toro by Don Brubaker. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys is to warm up with a G major or an E minor scale. If you can do an E minor scale, you should totally do it. Also, take note because you have to go back and forth between an F natural and an F sharp. So at the very beginning, you're playing an F natural, even though you're in the key of E minor, G major. But you have to make sure that you're paying attention to which one's which. It's really easy to play all of them with an F natural and you're like, oh, that's supposed to be a sharp. Yeah, it is. So please make sure you're playing the right notes. The other thing is, um, I would make sure you're kind of playing in the lower half of the frog every time you have a staccato note. This song, is, it's not aggressive, that's not the word I would use, but you need to have like that excitement. And if you have this like really smooth bow for, not the whole piece, but a lot of it, it's not really going to work. So please make sure you do that. Um, you have a lot of tempo changes in this which means that this piece works best when you have a conductor, but given our circumstances right now, we're going to um, do it a different way with the metronome today. In your music, it says that the dotted half note gets 60 beats per minute. Fantastic, what does that mean? That means on the metronome, it's not that slow, you're actually, Counting that like you're taking it at one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's how fast it'll go. Da, dee, ga, da, ga, da, dee, da, da, dee, ga, da, ga, da, dee, da. It's really hard to play things that quickly up here. So play it down here for a lot of it. And because we have so many tempo changes, by the time we get to 53 and 54, I'm going to play from the beginning. But at 53, you're gonna hear me start to slow down and it's gonna not match here. What I'm going to do with this video, hopefully it works, is I'm going to stop, turn this off, and from 55 on, you will hear the rest of the song, not with the metronome. I'll just edit it together so it's as seamless as possible. Luckily, 55 and 56 are one of those things where you just hold and you just wait for your conductor. So I'm going to sing the solos in the background while that happens so you can get a time frame of how long that'll probably take. 57 through the end of 64, you're, do, you're getting faster with every like two measures or so, but that again is a thing where you'd have to watch the conductor. I'm gonna play it kind of the way I would conduct it, but every conductor would do it differently. I am gonna go back to the beginning and then jump to the coda afterwards. You just won't hear a metronome with it, but you've kind of already played it with one, so you'll be okay. All right, I hope this helps. One, two, one, two, three, ready and play. Thank you. 
hope this helped you with your practicing. I hope you all have a great day. Bye. But you have to make 